Hi everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. X squared plus X cube equals 12. Now, my target is to break this 12 down into 2. So I'll have X squared plus X cube equals 8 plus 4. Right? So that if I continue now, we have X squared plus X cube to be equal to 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 2. And if we continue, we are going to regroup again this and this together. So we have X squared minus 2, 2 squared. Then we have minus, okay, this is plus, plus X to the power of 3. This becomes minus 2 to the power of 3. Now, there's nothing on the right. We equate to 0. Now, this and this, we can apply difference of 2 squares. And this and this, we apply difference of 2 cubes. So, if we do that here, okay, let's, before we go there, let's have the standard for this. Imagine there is a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This will now be a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared right so if we are working with this now our a is x and our b is 2 but then here we apply difference of two squares this is going to give us something in this form x minus 2 into x plus 2 this is for this alone and then for this one we are going to have plus open bracket x minus 2 right into here we have x squared plus here we have x times b that will be x times b and a b is 2 right that will be x times 2 which is 2x then plus b squared which is 2 squared and that is 4 now this is equated to 0 now this and this are the same so it becomes a common factor close that then here we have x plus 2 let's put that in bracket then plus this bracket again x squared plus 2x plus 4 everything is equal to 0 and this is because um this is already out okay now let's open the bracket and then we we'll add what we have here x minus 2 is a common factor then from here we have x by the way x plus 2x will give us 3x so let me write 3x directly then plus this 2 okay i'll write this first x squared is going to come down so we write x squared then plus 2 plus 4 that will give 6 we equate this to 0 but there will be need for us to rearrange what we have here so x minus 2 the common factor then here I, I want to write x squared first then plus 3x plus what 6 this is equal to 0 so we are going to continue from here now we are multiplying this and this to get zero and imagine you have a times b to get zero so either of them must be zero for you to get zero if a is zero whatever b is you're still going to have zero here and if b is zero whatever a is you will still have zero so that is what we are going to apply to this now so it is either x minus 2 equals zero or x squared plus 3x plus 6 equals 0. So from here we can proceed. From this now our x will be 0 plus 2 and our x is just 2. This is one of the solutions. Okay, to get the other solutions, I'm going to work on this, right? Let me type that here. So we have x squared plus 3x plus 6 equals 0. By the way, 
What do you understand by the quadratic general formula? Do you have the formula offhand? The formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The quadratic general formula is that formula that we can use to solve every quadratic equation, including this one here. Okay, now our x is going to be in place of um, this minus b, I'm going to write minus 3 because b is 3. Then plus or minus square root of b squared is going to be 3 squared minus 4ac, that's 4 times 1 times 6. This is because our a is the coefficient of x squared, our b is this, and c is the 6. So we divide this now by 2 times 1 because a is 1. Okay, so to proceed from here, our x will now be minus 3 plus or minus. We had 3 squared there, that would be 9. Then 4 times 1 times 6, that would be 24. So we will now divide this by 2 times 1, which is 2. Now our x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus right so we now have the square root of 9 minus 24 will give us um, minus 15 so we now divide this by 2 let's go ahead so that x will now be minus 3 plus or minus square root of 15 oh i did not write the negative so let me multiply this by negative 1 and that was intentional. Okay, let's continue with this. Okay, so our x will now be minus 3 plus or minus square root of 15 times i. Square root of negative 1 is i as we divide by 2. So our x will now be minus 3 plus or minus, we have i root 15 divided by 2 and this is a 2 in 1 solution let's bring the three solutions together the first one is x1 and it's equal to um 2 right then our x2 is from here minus 3 plus i root 15 divided by 2 this is our x2 then x3 is minus 3 um, minus now minus i root 15 divided by 2 these are the three solutions